All right, everyone, welcome to the welcome call. <laughs> um, wow, thank you for everyone for being here. And I love these calls. I just love these calls. And I got to tell you, one of the things you want to know, guys, I do not put this up in YouTube until I watch it. So I watch two, hours, and well, this is an hour and 15 minutes about. So I watch an hour and 15 minutes of this call before it goes into YouTube to make sure everything is good, that, that it recorded well. But I see this a second time. Oh, and by the way, the classrooms, before they go up in YouTube, I watch every one of them. That's two and a half hours, guys. You really want to get how much I love this program and you guys. I am with you guys a lot, just in the recordings. <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanted to share with everyone, guys, we have registrations coming in left and right. Thank you so much for sharing with your friends. Thank you so much for inviting people. So I want to share one more thing with you that has shown up, which is very interesting. So Sonny came to me and he said, Carol, I want to do uh, like a, a, a learning hub and have people that meet together that can't get on the internet that can do this classroom. Wow, guys. That's what I want. I want more learning hubs where they can't use the internet. They can't, they don't have smartphones. They can't do the things we can. And that we can put them together in a room and they can still participate. My goal is that YEA is a household word in Africa and it won't be if we just limit ourselves to people that can get on the internet. But these learning hubs, oh, we can get all over the place. So anyone that wants to create a learning hub for May, all you have to do, and we're, I'm creating a whole new kind of program for the people that can't do lives on Facebook, I'm creating some new things that they can do being in the learning hubs and not having cell phones and not having laptops and not having the internet. They can still have the seven pillars. Woo! I'm so excited. So anyone that wants to create a learning hub along with Sunny, please do. Um, one more thing I wanted to tell you about. I'm so excited. Guys, every one of you, please, please, please come to Sunday. Sunday is our youth program. It's our youth forum. And it's, it's led by myself. And it's going to be led by Magala. And it's going to be led by Isoclair. And we are doing a mastermind for young people on Sunday. I want everyone's minds there. It starts at, um, uh, hold on, <laughs> it starts at 10 o'clock U.S. time, and it's, and then it's, what, 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. Kenya and Uganda time, and Ghana time is 2 p.m., so please, if you can make it, I need as many minds as I can get there, because what we're working on is... They have an issue, they have a problem, and we wanna, we wanna create, we wanna create. That's our seventh pillar, creativity. And the masterminds are the best way to create. Bring all the minds together, state the, the problem that we're trying to solve, and then all the ideas come together. So the problem we're trying to solve, so please, if you have some ideas, write them down, bring them. But please come and participate. <clears throat> it's going to be an amazing, amazing experience for everyone, I promise. So the problem we're trying to solve is this. The Nikivali, um refugee camp 
used to get $3 a month to live on. And it's been taken away from them. So there is no money that they get. And uh, this community of young people, I want them to create a self-sustaining project that brings money in to that group. And that's what we're gonna work on. And they're bringing their ideas because they know the area. They know the rules. They know what they can do and what they can't do. And so they're gonna bring all of their ideas and we're gonna look. And there might be two or three projects that we create. So guys, bring your thinking caps, bring your creativity, bring your ideas. 20 minds, better than one. We this have... is what we're working on today. Yeah. So that is what we're up to around the youth program. Oh, and I wanna just let you know, our youth program is really progressing. Oh my goodness. So now I have, um, I have some other hubs <laughs> that are showing up. So this is so exciting, guys. I shared this with one of the leaders, one of the youth leaders in the North America side. He said, oh my gosh, this is my passion. This is what I want to do. British Virgin Islands is going to join the youth program. And they're going to have a learning hub of 25 or 30 students that are going to participate with Uganda. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then the other learning hub is the US. And guys, they're going to come together because they do have cell phones and they do have laptops, but we're gonna have young people from the US that are joining us and they will be in. So three different, three different cultures are gonna to work together. Wow, wow. I'm so, so excited. And they're ages 13 to 17. They're going to know the seven pillars and how to use them in their life. So, and guys, this has been a dream of mine for a very long time. I've been speaking this for a while around the youth program. I just didn't know how to make it happen, put it together. And then I let a 13 year old into my North America course, Lexi. He came and spoke last week in the youth program. So, oh my goodness. She is amazing. And she now is deciding she wants to be a part of the youth program. <laughs> Just inspiring. But that 13 year old changed my thinking that this is, this can be for 13, 17 year olds. It doesn't have to be adults that do this program. So she did it so wonderfully and such a leader for 13 years old. And now she wants to be a part of the youth program. And she's going to help me bring people from the U.S. So from Tampa, her friends. So anyway, I just wanted you all to know some of the updates around what's happening some really exciting things. Jackie, you have your hand up. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I think someone is unmuted and there's a bit of um, distracting noise. Okay, hold on. Let me mute. There we go. All right. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. All right. So yes, um, that is what's happening with YEA. We are growing once again. A seventh pillar, creativity. I'm not even sure why I didn't think of creativity a long time ago, because that's what we do in YEA. We create. So, and all of you are creating amazing things, amazing, amazing things in your life. And I want to give you guys a chance to share those amazing things. Raise your hand if you want to share the project that you're up to, and what you're taking on, what you're doing. Please raise your hand. And you know what? I would really like for to hear from Masi first. And then anybody else, raise your hand. 
and we'll have you share what you're up to. Go for it. Masi, Coach Masi. <clears throat> Are you there? Yes, there I'm, you. I'm here. Hey, tell yeah, us thank what you. is happening with beef. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Carol. Uh, everyone who is new, like Jackie and some other people you've not known of this program before. My name is Coach Marcy, I'm in Uganda. Uh, I happen to be leading a program that is called BIF. BIF stands for Usoga Entrepreneurship Empowerment Forum. It's the region where I'm coming from. Actually, it is one of the, it's ranked as one of the poorest regions in, in Eastern Uganda. So I happen to make uh, some uh, bringing together of youth and different communities together, such that to, uh, I improve on their, we work together to improve on our leadership skills, to make, uh, to become bold leaders in communities and empowering entrepreneurs. Beef has went ahead and uh, we've introduced community debates. Very soon is going to be launched. We are trying to, to make entrepreneurs come on top and we have those debates that uh, really can help us to make masterminds of all the beautiful ideas that are rotting the communities that are rotting within our fellow entrepreneurs. So uh, Beef is bringing all this together we are doing what we call uh, talent search and very soon we're about to launch a different networking events that are going to take place and uh, willingly they will be uh, both on zoom and physical so anytime when someone is reached out when someone reaches out to you and is like asking you to join our zoom calls please do because we are all contributing to the uh, betterness of our communities. One thing that uh, one thing that is always making me stay uh, stay on foc in stay in focus is asking myself what is my purpose in life. This is something like this is something that is always gearing me. This is something that is uh, I'm always. Uh, using as a tool to almost everyone like when i ask every one of you here that uh, what is your purpose in life you'll have to define a lot of things and this one will keep you on the move so i discovered my purpose in life is working with a youth my purpose in life is serving my community my purpose in life is discovering the, the potential in different people so this is why i introduced this uh amazing project that is really harnessing a lot of progress in my community so uh, we are up to a lot of things and very soon we shall be launching the different networking event anytime from now so that is what i can say about uh, my program or my project base Wonderful, so exciting, Magala, that you are nurturing bold leaders in communities. It is Masi, not Magala. Uh, Magala, Masi. I'm sorry, Masi. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so excited that you are doing this. I I cannot yeah. tell you this is maybe maybe one thing you. that I can share. Lastly, is yeah. that uh, this was an idea that I had a, a couple of years ago. But when I joined YA, that was in the last, uh, the last course in, is, was it in uh, August last year? Was it in August, I think? October. So it was October, yeah, October last year. And I had to share my idea out to everyone. It's where I got beautiful souls like uh, Carol, Laksha, Christy, and very many others, they all supported me, they all backed me. And I really saw there was not there was no another right time apart from that very time to start this program. So it is something that is making a foundation, slow but very sure. So every one of you, I really 
I want to encourage you to share what you are doing, to share anything that you want to create, such that we can all create a difference in our communities. Woo. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you. And um, Masi, Coach Masi, how, how many people are in your program right now? I know you have quite a few. Yeah, right now I have uh, 12 leaders, I have 12 leaders, but I have a, a number of people that are joining. It's just like a network of different people. So I know it is something of, for all the community. So I may not know the numbers who, who are beneficiaries, but I think very soon we shall start profiling uh, every member that comes in. But mm -hmm. I have 12 leaders at the moment. Wonderful. Jackie, you may want to really take a look at that. And he is going to be doing a Zoom piece so that other leaders can come in. Um, but you might want to take a look at what he is up to, um, given who you are. Okay. Awesome. All right. Um, who else would like to share? What have you been up to? What are you doing? You know who I'd like to hear from? Ali, what is happening with your permaculture? Um, center and the trainings that you've been doing. Let's hear from you. Are you there? Hello, hello. Okay, we'll come back to you, Ali. All right, Coach Fred, you have your hand up. Go for it. Uh, thank you very much, Coach Carol. Thank you very much, Coach Carol. Uh, good evening once again, um, Coach Fred Uganda. I'm uh, right uh, in Entebbe City. Entebbe is just a few kilometers from the National Airport. So that's where I am right now. Um, so I just wanted to, to, to throw some insights about uh, our project that is running. Uh, remember our project, like my project has uh, something to do with the scaling. That's why I'm called a coach, uh, giving out business skills. But in particular, uh, we are now looking at uh, how to empower more young uh, single mothers with the skills on how to make a variety of juices, apart from partially fruit alone. Uh, so we are trying to organize and see that uh, the team we have so far uh, has no knowledge on how to make uh, a variety of uh, juices, like mixing the watermelon with the oranges. And besides that, we are trying to to preach the gospel of uh, of organiste and uh, nutrition because we want uh, people who are enjoying the juice from these people. The, very many people can do juice, but what is special? With the kind of juice that the YEA girls are doing, it should be in position to cater for people's health. It should be in position to add on the immune system of the people who are enjoying this juice. That's why we want to go ahead and learn more and more types of juices uh, using the beetroot, using the pineapple, using the oranges. Uh, so we are trying to look at if we mixed the orange with the passion fruit. Uh, if someone takes that kind of mixture, what is he gaining? Because apart from enjoying the juice, because it is sweet, we are trying to sensitize our people to take this juice from these girls uh, with an intention of uh, getting the nutrition that is in, within this juice. So right now, uh, that's what we are trying to run after. And uh, uh, the girls are doing great so far. And we have some more girls coming on board. In fact, we shall be having a meeting on a TV station. Uh, we are going to be joining with some other single mothers who I was on a TV some week back and uh, we called up some other single mothers to come on board and at least gain the knowledge from these ones that we have already so far. Uh, so we shall be having that meeting with a other bunch of single mothers. And uh, something very interesting, again, to report yeah. with the rest of the friends. Please join me in thanking Coach Carol that we did an interview together last Sunday. The interview was very successful, and I'm so happy that uh, the GoFundMe is already up. And uh, I'm really, really excited about this. So I just want to take a note to thank you very much, to thank Coach Christie, 
thank Rockstar and other team members for this kind of opportunity. So we cannot wait. We have started publishing our own flyers and putting them up so that the world can know what we are doing. We cannot hide it anywhere. Wonderful. Uh, we wanted Wonderful. to talk about our registration certificate. We went ahead and uh, because this is to do with uh, selling food, Jewish, we consider it as food. So we could not, there is no way we could do that when we are not uh, registered at, uh, at the government of Uganda. So I personally submitted our constitution about what we are doing. I submitted it. And uh, very soon we are going to receive our certificate of registration as a community-based organization doing this project of uh, empowering young single mothers with skills on how to do Jewish and uh, selling that juice for them to earn a living. So the idea was highly welcomed by the local leaders. And uh, I'm so happy that they are also actually telling, uh, telling me, Coach Fred, we have some young single mothers in our community. Would you please include them on your program? So meaning that skilling on how to do juice is going to be a special benefit. Even when we have not yet raised the funds to support them start up their own small enterprises, uh, we have seen a benefit of skill for them to be in a position to learn how to do Jewish as a special skill for them. It is yet another benefit that we are identifying. So when God is on our side and we have people of good heart to support these young single mothers with a $50 per age, that means we are going to have the enterprise growing too fast. And uh, the girls today had a meeting with them, eight of them online. And uh, they are suggesting they are not they are not selling Jewish anymore in a small polyethylene bag. They want to get a bottle, even <laughs> when it is not yet branded. They want to get a bottle, and I'm working on designing a sticker with the Jewish is Jewish Y E A. Um, I don't know if I can share something. Uh, can I? When I share, can you guys see? Yes. Are you able to see when I share the screen? Go for it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Rockshaw, can you take over for a second? I have to make a phone call really quick, okay? Sure. All right. Yes, Rockstar. Um, so this is what we are trying to say, that uh, we want to start by designing, a, uh, we want to start by designing a flyer. Um, we want to start by designing a flyer, which, I, uh, can you? It's I can't freezing. see. I don't, know. I don't know if anyone else can. Um, and you do have the right, the thing to share. So are you sharing the right screen? Yes, I'm trying to do it from here, but I think since I'm not a host, it is a little bit hectic. It must be a little bit technical if I'm not. Uh, um, I think it is technical since I'm not uh, the okay. host. No, okay, you have. You have. I'm looking here, Coach Fred, and you uh, participants do have the right to share. So I'm just um, trying to figure out, right? Can you see the little? Uh, are you on your laptop or are you on your phone? I'm on my phone. Ah, I don't know how to do it from your phone. From your laptop, I could I could walk you through it. But if you can share it in the chat, that would be great. Because people okay. will still get to see it. Okay, okay. I think I'll share it in a chat. Uh, but I shared okay. a list of flyer that I designed for Juicy Juicy project in the in the group. I shared something like mm -hmm. that. So what we have to create is to create a sticker which sticker can be wrapped on a, on a bottle of juice. And this sticker should be owned by us. Um, so we are trying so, to do that. So, that so there's a couple of questions that I have for you. Yes. And Jackie, you can jump in anytime because I know you do business coaching as well. Um, a, do the girls have any kind of a stake in Juicy Juice? I know that they have the franchise and stuff, but do they have any rights as owners of Juicy okay, right. Juice? My other question is, 
do you it, in order for you to bottle the food i don't know what the regulations uganda has yeah but you would have to get some licensing for that definitely definitely okay um yeah. then the other thing becomes also that when you're bottling it you're going to have to create some kind of a seal so that if you're going to be selling it um it's it's a safe product the reason i'm asking you all these questions coach fred it's not to distract you from building your business but it's to make sure that you legally you're protected and legally the ladies are protected right because they're yeah, pretty much putting everything at stake you're extremely um, right and also yeah and you said that you had to submit some paperwork so are you registering juicy juice as a non-profit or a for-profit very good can i answer you absolutely i threw a lot of questions there at you but these are just like okay. foundational uh, questions all, yeah, first of all we wanted to start as a, as a community-based organization at a local setting because we have uh, the central government and the local government. So at the local government level, we have CBOs. Those are community-based organizations where we okay. have um, like organization of women staying in the same village, sitting uh, once a week and do whatever activities they want. And we have seen them uh, manufacturing their own products like art and craft, uh, juice and so many other stuff, coffee and so many other stuff. So when you are registered as a CBO, they are allowed to participate in a number of activities, including saving, uh, investing in small, small income generating activities. So for the Juicy Juicy program as a young kind of program under YEA, we wanted to first have it as a community-based organization. So as a community-based organization, when we have that certificate, that means we have uh, one of the major activities performed within the CBO is transforming the fruits into juice. When we get this juice, we sell it and the single mothers and women can be able to earn a living, take care of their children. That is one of the, that is what is in our, on our right up to the council. And then the second level would be if we wrapped, if we got in a bottle, if we have a stick and put it up, the second level would be uh, uh, reserving the name Juice is Juice with a URSB, Uganda Registration Bureau. So we shall have to do that to go ahead and reserve that name. So once we reserve that name, then we shall be expected to register something like a company. So it can be a non-profit company or a profit-making company. So one of the two. Are you there? So, yeah, I'm here. So the vision that the girls have right now, or the single moms have right now, what I know of what Carol has shared with me is for them to be able to have these juice being sold in other locations once they've been branded and bottled, right? Yep. So yep. My, my advice would be to do it as a for-profit because if you do it as a non-profit, there's a lot of restrictions of how you can do it and what you can't do. But as a for-profit, you will stand much more better chance of growth. And Marcy, Jackie, I would be leaning on you. Teresa, I would be leaning on you as well because of what you have gone through in getting your FDA approval for your shea butter and stuff. But this is where, um, Coach Fred, I'll share a book with you that I wrote. It's an ebook about writing a business plan. And this is where you need to sit down and write that business plan. I am not trying to be a damper here, um, Carol, Coach Fred, everyone. But to me, it's important that these ladies have some kind of control in the juicy juice or they have some kind of a stay uh, which means that they have to put something at stake right if they want to grow yeah 
I was actually because coming otherwise from. you can build the business yeah. and then it will go nowhere. So there has to be a commitment. There has to be an agreement um, that is binding because what you're talking about, Coach Fred, that's a huge vision and it's a beautiful yeah. vision. But in order for you to achieve it, it's going to take time and it's going to take finances. And are they committed to that? Right? It, it's time to come uh, have an open conversation that in order for your vision to come true, these are the things we need to achieve. Yep. Do, do you agree with me, Jackie? Um, yes, Please, I somebody do. say um, something. Yes, okay. yes, yes, sorry. Sorry, Raksha. Yeah, I, I think um, I've been following through what Coach Fred has been doing uh, in line with the Juicy Juice. And I think so far I see the progress is good. But like you said, I think like in Kenya, we have this, if you're going to package food and sell food, there's usually the kebs, it's called kebs. Um, sticker just to confirm that whatever contents and ingredients within the products that you're selling are fit for human consumption. So I think um, you're, you're, you're on the right path. You just um, need to put everything in place so that at one point it's not an issue when you've gone far way over in the business. Yeah, I'm, I'm following closely. So anything you need for me, I know you always reach out, Coach Fred, so you can always... Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, also also guys um uh, this is real specific kind of stuff so you know rock shop reach out to coach fred talk to him more around some of yeah. this but uh you know i want to move on here because there are other people that i want to have share what they're up to but but coach fred you do want to get with rock shop to make sure just that you know, you dot your T's, dot your I's and cross your T's and that you don't get stopped in the middle of something that you're moving forward in. But she does have some real, um, some real things that could stop you. And she can see those and help, you know, support you in that. So definitely get with Rock Shop around that. Um, so I do want to offer a suggestion and that is, um, you know, Starbucks over here, they give you, you buy a cup from them, okay? You buy a cup from them, and then they give you, like, refills um, at a discount or whatever if you bring it back. Um, that might be something that you could start doing with this. You, you get a bottle, and you fill it, and then they bring their bottle back, and they get, uh, you know, a little knock off in bringing it back and using the same bottle so then that way they have their own bottle <laughs> you can put your own label on it <laughs> and it is a bottle it's not the manufacturing part yet but it is a start and it's a start in them seeing bottles so it might be something that you want to look at and see if that's possible is that because you can put your own label on them and you hand they they purchase it you make them pay a little more for the bottle and if they bring it back to get refills you give them a discount around it and then you start having yeah. regular customers ah! yeah and i have uh, i have a friend of mine i have a friend of mine actually as raksha said we have to move step by step so the first step was to have a community-based organization registered as why as Juice is Juice YEA program, yep. we had to do that first. Then uh, the second step will be us uh, going to reserve the name from the URSB, reserving that name Juice is Juice, so that it is not taken by anyone else. Mm -hmm. And then we can choose either to register a non-profit company or to register a profit-making company. Both of them have differences, have advantages and disadvantages. If we register as a profit making, then the government is going to charge a lot of taxes on us every time they have to pay, we have to pay taxes, blah, blah, which we, we shall see how we are moving on our way. So uh, I have a friend of mine within the URSB um, who will be, uh, we have a friend of mine who will be addressing us 
uh, he will be giving me time to speak about uh, to prove, to speak about the preservatives and give me a template of uh, the the template of what is required for them to approve if we came up with a bottle and we packed in juice what is required for us to submit because we have to take the samples the samples for them to check uh, mm -hmm. what is this write up of what we have put together otherwise um, I think God will pave the way for us and we shall reach there those are plans ahead but right now girls are still doing their juice locally and they are selling it like any other local starting business and they are earning some money. Awesome. Really, really awesome. Okay. All right. Um, Magala, you have your hand up. Uh, okay. Thank you. Hi, mm -hmm. uh, everyone. Uh, what I want to share. Uh, to oh, to we're the... not hearing you. Uh, yes, are you hearing me? I can hear you now. Okay, thank you. Uh, first, is everyone. I I have done. So. I can't hear you. We cannot hear. Uh, yeah, you're you're cutting out. I have said that. Uh, invite everyone for your and uh, also to share what was happening. Magala, we we can't hear you. It's an, it we're we're hearing every other word. I'm not. Are you there? Yeah. Hello. Are you getting me? Now I can. Yeah, try it again. I was saying that uh, this week uh, I was sitting with my friend uh, about we can our life, that telling them that uh, we want to design of this. Uh, we need to to keep it in our area of life. Uh, to keep on checking. No, checking we, maybe we're, your we're not being able to understand at all at all <laughs> um where are you that it's cutting out so bad i think i can do this yeah we're like getting every other word so we're not understanding anything okay uh are you getting me now I can't hear you. You're way muffled or something. Yes. Uh, I was been sharing that uh, we were trying to share with my friend uh -huh. uh, about about on how we can be uh, designing our lives, and I was telling them that uh, a well-designed life is a life that uh, by which you keep on checking on your areas of life and uh, like. At your, at your health, your relationship, for example, you find that you're working, uh, and then feeling that you are sick, but you don't want to go and check up, of your, check up your health. Then you find yourself not being able to do what you want to do, and uh, you find yourself uh, not being able again to continue or proceed with your vision because the sickness has persisted, then you find yourself. Uh, this is done when others are and I was telling them that we need to keep on checking in our areas of life. So that's the evening because we have some time. Uh, right now, the team have grown up and we always do some evening knowledge here where we gather with everyone and try to, to see what everyone is up to and what they have. Uh, they have. And during their days. This is done at our classes. Uh, and right now we are, uh, I have like, we are like 14, 46. Um, I'm not hearing you again, Magala. Uh, I'm saying you are like, we are now 46 members. 46 40, members. Did you say 46? And, uh, did you say 46 members? Yes, for, yes 46. Yeah, uh, and we have created uh, another evening sharing whereby after the classes we keep on sharing 
about what maybe what I'm up to, what I did according to my daily plan, my ritual, what did I earn, so what was the challenges and what was the opportunities that I made today. And uh, in uh, in those sharing, when I was been trying to talk with them about our youth program, our youth which, program, uh, which yes. Is taking, which is taking place uh, this Sunday, uh, I had six people who told me that they are ready to share their ideas, project ideas that they, they have. So I don't know if they are going to be allowed to share them. Uh, I wanted also to hear from you about that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we got some of it. <laughs> I didn't get it all because you're you're you go far away and i can't hardly hear you and then you come up and then it's louder and then it's away again so it was kind of hard to understand um so you you have a big community of people that you've put together yeah that's what yeah i have six people who said they are going to share their project ideas. Wow. They are going to... Wow. As, are you talking about for, yes. for the youth program? I, I'm not hearing. Yes. Wow. That's so great, Magala. Whoa. Amazing. Uh, and, uh, at last, now in our, we are preparing ourselves for our take twenty seventh of May. We are uh, now doing the preparation invite. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not being able to hear anything you're saying, Magala. Sorry, nothing. It, okay. You're fading in and out to where we can't understand it. Um. Is there a, can you move somewhere, try a different location that you're standing in or whatever, and see if that makes a difference? Yes, maybe it's the network, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's something that's not allowing us to hear you. It's going, it's, yeah. we're getting every other word. Let me let me share after maybe. Thank you. Okay. Try try see if you can come back in. See if it makes a difference. Okay, Nicholas, I'm gonna let you go ahead and share. Okay. Thank you, Caro. Uh -huh. so I will uh, share shortly. Though today I'll be unique to everyone. What I'll share will be different. And total is totally different. What I want to share is totally different with the, what people have just shared. So what I, I would uh, want to share with us is, like, is that uh, after doing landmark program, uh, uh, I wanted to become a leader. I can say that I'm a leader right now. So mm -hmm. when I'm a leader, uh, I was told that uh, I'm a, an ambassador of YEA. So I do preach the gospel of YEA everywhere. <laughs> yes, I, you do. I walk, yes, you I do. do. I do. I do preach uh, the gospel of uh, YEA. So <laughs> I'm happy to share with you that uh, uh, I shared with uh, some of my youth, some of my colleagues from uh, my neighboring county, that is Migori County. And then uh, there are nine members that were willing to attend the next uh, course. So I went ahead and uh, take their names. And after taking their names, I, I submitted and they are already registered uh, for the May course. They so, sure are. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to let uh, my colleagues know that uh, we are ambassadors of YEA. So I'll continue being ambassador of YA and I'll continue preaching the gospel of YA everywhere. <laughs> thank, you, thank, Nicholas. thank you, Thank you. By the way, guys, Nicholas has created a hub in Kenya um, where they're going to all get together. And there are nine of them plus Nicholas 
Um, and they are going to be in our May course. So it's going to be a hub, a learning hub for our May course. Um, and they are all registered. They're all ready to go, Nicholas. We got it all set up. So very, very cool. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Guys, Thank you. anybody that wants to create a learning hub where people can come together in one place and there's one person that is kind of the uh, point person that can come on line um, and they can raise their hands and share. Um, wow, we're, we're going to go out into communities that cannot do the internet, that cannot do Zoom, that don't have smartphones. That's what we're doing. And the doors just opened. So very, very excited for that. Um, okay, Ali, you have your hand up. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you for being an ambassador of YEA. Okay, welcome. <laughs> sharing, sharing the gospel of YEA. I've not ever heard of us as a gospel, but hey, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Wonderful. Um, okay. Um, who who had their hand up? I can't remember. Was it Ali? I don't know. Okay. Anybody else want to share anything? Anything at all? Okay. Um, Oh, Ali. Yeah, it was Ali that had his hand up. Yeah. Okay, Ali, unmute. Are you there, Ali? Can you hear us? Hmm. Okay. Well, we're having a few issues around um, internet today, I think. And... Oh, he says, unmute me. Okay, I'll try and unmute you there, Ollie. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you get it? There's oh, Ollie. Okay, Ollie, uh, go for it. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Absolutely. Um, well, for me, uh, what I would like to share is that um, at Butambala Permaculture Learning Center, ever since we started the YEA program, um, the first week, I made a declaration and uh, that declaration has come to being practical and lively in a sense that my declaration was to start a chicken coop house. And as I speak of now, we have managed to roof it, close it. And now we are on to the final stages of uh, making stucco. Of the of the whole building and we we will very soon enter our chickens there wow. and our program is that we are giving it oh here we go again <laughs> one year so that this well we intend them as a source of an income or a stream of income to support our farm Wow. And that we are also trying to restore the native chickens that are on extinctions in Uganda. And as I speak of now, we have got about five different native breeds across Uganda from different five districts of Uganda. Wow. So our goal is to ensure that we restore these birds that are on extinction in Uganda and that we are now looking forward to see that uh, this chicken coop becomes a reality. So we are also working uh, towards our permaculture design course that is happening next month, mm -hmm. starting from April. And we are also uh, looking forward to see that those people that are interested will be sponsored. And we are looking forward to those people that haven't done permaculture design course to be able to participate. So it will be a blended course, both online and on face-to-face. -face. Awesome. And I take this opportunity to acknowledge uh, Nicholas Ora, 
for what he's doing right now as far as YEA program is concerned. Mm -hmm. And then I also take this opportunity to acknowledge Sony Bireke because um, they are really showing their pro prowess in terms of transforming and becoming leaders. This mm -hmm. is what we are expecting out of YEA and Landmark Forum graduates at the same time. So I'm really sure that we are really making transformation in people's lives and impacting lives and communities. Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad that this pillar is really one of the best pillars, focus. Because most <laughs> of us, we are not focused, you know? People are not focused. <laughs> and I, I, I can tell because when someone gets distracted, maybe others, they are thinking of monetary terms because I'm already receiving some cases. They thought that maybe from YEA, you are going to improvise them with finances, maybe Raksha or Masi or Christy or whoever. But the thing is, we are here to transform lives and communities. And the universe can always create for us all the positivity. That's what I want to encourage my, my fellow colleagues and, and coaches is that when I had started this, I requested to be mentored and coached. And indeed, Christy made sure that I'm coached and I'm mentored. And right now, like I tell you, we have another program which is called the Enviro Project, whereby uh, Daniel, you know him, Daniel from Tampa, Florida. So we are now building that resilience, that network is now the world that it needs. It doesn't no longer needs people that sit into the office. It needs people to connect, make networks. That's the only way how we can create abundance. So I take this opportunity to thank everyone here on YEA who is passionately doing what they think is passionate for them. It's not about being right or wrong, but it's all about being ourselves, being who we are and staying real and being real. So thank you very much, Carol, for the opportunity. And thank you guys for your time until this time, until this date. So for other things like starting up businesses, which are sustainable, I would like also to acknowledge Coach, uh, Coach Fred. Uh, it is possible that in Uganda, once you start a CBO, ah, less taxes can be leveled at you. But the most important thing is we create and become entrepreneurs. So I'm glad that I'm one of the YE entrepreneurs at the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ali. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm. You have, you have so transformed since being in the ILP. Oh my gosh, Ali. Yes, you, I am. You absolutely own your leadership. Thank you. Totally different person. Oh, different person. Just Thank incredible. you very much. Incredible. Absolutely. Thank you. So, um, okay, guys, it's 11.53. Does anybody else want to share? We haven't heard from Sunny. I'd really like to hear from Sunny. And you know what? I want to hear from Teresa. Teresa, are you there? Because I want to hear how your weaving business is going. And Mike, I want to hear from you. Um, oh, Sylvester's had his hand up. Sylvester, share. You need to be, there you go. You're unmuted. Are you there? Hi, I'm glad to be here as one of these people of YEA. I'm very yeah. happy because uh, uh, first time I joined YEA, uh, I was being welcomed by Coach Caro, and he told me, as he told me that uh, I'm in a, a good hand. Actually, I can say I'm in a good hand because uh, since I joined YEA, uh, before I joined YEA, I was doing some uh, agriculture. I was growing uh, tomatoes. I was growing a uh, vegetable, but uh, I was just growing them with no skills. But uh, when I joined YEA with uh, different people, with a different opinion, now I gain uh, a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge how I can manage it. Besides that, uh, let me congratulate uh, our sister Hilda who advised me that besides growing this uh, vegetable and maybe tomato, I should have something like a 
uh, like keeping of a rabbit. It's very cheap. And actually, I did it. Uh, I tried so much and get some of three. And now, what I understand is that uh, uh, apart from just selling the rabbits, uh, the urine of the rabbit is a uh, uh, it, it is in very high demand. People need it, and they say that they use it as a fertilizer. So I was very happy because I never knew this one before. But now at least I know it through YEA, and I want to be ambassador of YEA so that I can preach the gospel of YEA so that each and every person, whatever I want to do, they must have a basic knowledge first. I'm very happy, and I'm happy that I'm going to be a student. I want to pursue my course so that one day, one time, I can be a coach just like Zigala, just like everyone else. And I'm very happy about you. Uh, besides that, I've been uh, inboxing my friends. I've been talking to my friends, uh, extra county, because country is big. I talked to some people like in Suba South, of which they told me that they are ready. I already take their names. And uh, I want to create so that one day, one time, you give us time, we present, so that you give them whatever they can do as a young people. Wow. And just like I said, uh, uh, yes, just like I said the other day, most of these people are women. Uh, they're vulnerable. Most of them are just uh, an orphans. And if we give, if we give them uh, a, a knowledge and how to handle these things, because they, I know and I believe they have learned. I know and I believe they have what they can do. So that so when we give them an idea, they can build that, and then they can be, be become. become some people are very proud to be in YEA. Uh, that's mm -hmm. all. Thank you so much. I'm Thank glad. Thank you, Sylvester. Thank you for sharing that. I'm so glad that Hilda got together with you. Oh, my goodness. That, guys, that is the power of community. We pull together our talents. We work together. They, you're not alone. Do not walk alone. It is so lonely <laughs> and hard when you walk alone. But when you walk as a community of people and resources and, and all of our ideas and our thoughts together, woo, you can't, you're, we're unstoppable. We're unstoppable. And that's one of the things that I say when you do the course in YEA, you will become unstoppable. Not because you're going to be unstoppable, but because you've got such a community of people behind you, you'll never be stopped as long as you share what's happening for you. You've got to, you've got to share it. That's what YEA is all about. Share what is going on for you so we can all know and support where we can. All right, Sunny. I want to hear from you. I one one thing I want to say about Sunny. Sunny and I, um, we're working together, <laughs> and and we are really and truly um, going to forward YEA in the refugee camp. Um, I'm so excited uh, for who he is and the leadership that he's taken on. And um, man, Sonny, from the first point when I first met you in YEA to who you are now is unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. You absolutely own your leadership. And it's in your speaking, it's in your actions, it's in everything. Sonny, oh, where did Sonny go? Did I lose him? Ah, he'll be back. But anyway, guys, that is what's available when you do YEA and you use those seven pillars and you, you, and you utilize the community and we pull it together and work together. That's what's available. Okay, so Sunny, he'll be back. Hilda, you have your hand up. Yes, I'm back. I've been attending class while moving all over. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I've been off camera. <laughs> all right, no worries. My, my CCTV has a problem, so it's being worked on. <laughs> okay. So maybe to add on for Sylvester, the rabbit urine, you can also use it as a folia. 
for your fruit trees, oh. you mix at a ratio of one to five, one liter of rabbit urine with five liters of water. And then you spray your fruit trees the time they are flowering. It uh, prevents the flowers from dropping. So you'll end up having more fruits. Ooh. And at the same time, it will be controlling uh, pests. Like uh, sometimes you can cut a mango and you get uh, a pest inside the mango. Normally they go in through the time they are flowering through the flower. So if you spray with the, the urine, the ratio of one to five weekly, you'll prevent that. And to, as we are using it as a fertilizer, at the same time, it controls uh, pests. So you can also be spraying, if possible, if you have enough, try to spray your vegetables weekly. That way you'll not, never have an experience of, uh, of uh, pests on your vegetables. But now for the spraying of weekly, you do the ratio of one to five. When they are already infested with the pests, that's when you do one to two, ratio of one to two. Okay, and then, and then I have a question. I was, uh, I'm planning to put up a solar dry above my gate. So I've already done the slab. It's uh, already one week. Um, it has another two weeks before we remove the supports. So, and then begin working on top. So I don't know which is the, which could be the best material. Is it the polythene or can glass work? Okay. Maybe that one, Ali and Christy that will help me. That would be an Ali answer for sure. Ali. <laughs> um, yes, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hilda has a question yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. uh, which is yeah. the best material for my solar dryer? Can I use glass or I use the polythene? You can use the polythene. Okay. Mm. What about the glass since it's in front of my house, it's above the gate? Is glass okay? It's above your gate, right? Yeah, it's above the gate. Yeah, With urban can... farm, farmers, we say the sky is the limit. So I'm doing the solar dryer above my gate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, polythene would work. Which materials are you, which other materials are you having? I was debating between glass and uh, polythene. Glass, it's because of uh, the beauty of the place also. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, uh, is it, have you constructed it like on a permanent with a concrete or something? Yeah, I, the, I, I prefer doing it uh, permanent. The slab, I've already put a permanent slab. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe you can use glass. Okay. Yeah, there the glass could work as long as water won't, as long as the water won't penetrate through. Yeah, I'll make sure it's watertight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. The glass can work. Yes. Uh, if it can work, then that one would be better, at least to maintain the beauty of the frontage. Oh, no problem. Okay. Right. Wow. Thank you, Thank you okay. Ali. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I love, I just love community. Ev everyone has our own talents, guys. We all have our own talents. We all bring our own specialness to this group. And creativity. Yeah, <laughs> called creativity. That's exactly right. That's why we're having a seventh pillar. I'm writing it right now is creativity. So Hilda, I asked you a question in the chat. Oh. Um, I I just want to know, can women own land in Africa? I you're muted. You're muted, darling. Mm. I can't normally hear you. men don't like it, mm -hmm. but, yeah, you but can own. men don't like a lot of things. So but... what most women do, they buy but don't show their their husbands that they have land. <laughs> Just but to add on that. Never mind. <laughs> huh? 
But just to add on that, um, I'm not married and I own land, so it's it's allowed. <laughs> no, if the I, reason I, I ask own. is I know in some cases it's not. And if you ladies are doing your own businesses and stuff, then your equity needs to be yours, not somebody else's. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, also own, own a piece of land. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just curious. We have, guys, we have a guest. Norbert. Norbert. Hi, Norbert. Hi. Welcome. Can you, um, can you unmute and tell us, um, I, I know who you are, but just tell us where you're from and a little bit about like what you wanted, what you want to do with White Yay. What do you want to get out of White Yay? Uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Hi. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for meeting you and mm -hmm. uh, thank you for this initiative. I'm Nobati Biambo Kagosi, a Congolese by nationality living in Uganda. Uh, as a refugee. So uh, I joined this group. Uh, there is somebody who, uh, who sent to me uh, the link of, uh, uh, of this group. And uh, I said, wow, let me join and see what uh, these amazing people do every day. And uh, I joined um, the WhatsApp group. So probably uh, I'm in a Kival and uh, we do also uh, do many things because I'm working with uh, NTG for the Best Future is an initiative of um, young leaders who are trying to help the community. So that is what we do because I don't have uh, many uh, like uh, much time to talk about it, but that is what we do. We, uh, we teach people conflict resolution skill and um, how they can be self-reliant in their in their household, the permaculture, mm -hmm. and the other. So thank you so much. And uh, I'm willing to get so, so many things from this initiative. Thank you so much. Awesome. So Norbert, who invited you to YEA? Uh, so uh, it, it, is, um, it is a lady who, who Could it be sent- Christy Abbott? Was it Christy Abbott? <laughs> Yes, it was Christy Abbott. <laughs> I do not see me. It was. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Thank you, Norbert, for showing up and trusting me. Yes. You never cease to amaze me, Christy. <laughs> it was Christy Abbott. If yes, Christy Abbott, she's the one who when, sent. To when you started talking, when you started talking plants and permaculture, I was like, yes, Christy. <laughs> It had it had to be Christy. Yes. She's in so many groups and she just invites so many people. So thank you, Christy, and thank you, Norbert, for joining us. Yeah, welcome. And I got your I got your uh, registration, so you are registered. Yay! That's why I knew your name. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, so welcome aboard. And our May course starts May 4th. This call is every Friday, and it actually started an hour ago. <coughs> okay, so um, make sure you put it in your calendar so that you can come and join us and get to know everyone before the course starts, okay? Oh, we have another guest coming in. And it's Eugen who was here last week. Anyway, thank you, Norbert, for joining us. Um, guys, we have about, I'm gonna say 10 more minutes, but we have another guest, so I don't wanna end yet. I don't like to go after more than 12, 15, I mean, uh, yeah, 12, 15 here. <clears throat> so quarter after. Um, Eugen, he's joining us. Hilda, you still have your hand up. You have something else oh, yeah. you want to share? Did you want to share something else, Hilda? Oh, you're muted. We aren't hearing you. Mine is something to do with time. Most of the guests, I think, are not aware of the change in time. I think so that's... they are joining at seven instead of six. I know. <laughs> the time difference. 
Mm -hmm. So maybe we communicate with them. We got to make sure that that we know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, definitely. <clears throat> we'll put it out there. I'll put it out there again, just texting everyone that the time has is there's a time difference. Um, okay. Ujin, um, he's he's coming in. Yeah. Um, um, Hilda, are you and Jackie within um, reach of each other? Because I know you're near Nairobi. Jackie, I believe yeah, you're I'm near Nairobi. In fact, we had planned we are meeting <laughs> sometime next week. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yes. Of course they are. <laughs> we are meeting next week so that we can uh, organize a youth group, the one I was talking about. Yes. Perfect. They're going to they're going to have a they're going to have a um a learning hub in Kenya for young people. Awesome. So maybe you both of you can support each other in creating the networking event I suggested when we are visiting you guys in a few months. Yeah. Yeah. In a few maybe. months, we're coming. I think uh, I think Hilda has it down to the days, but. <laughs> I know. I saw that the other day. I was like, oh, she is counting it down. And I've begun counting the hours. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. I can't stop hearing about it. I know. Oh, I cannot. I, I, so I can't wait to meet you guys. And I would love it if we could meet with other women business owners. Yes. There. Yes. Would love it. Um, Put something I mean, that's my passion. I don't know if you figured that out yet, Jackie, <laughs> but it's like, if you're a woman and you're in business, you better own it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, Ujin, welcome, welcome. Can you hear us? Maybe it's, I ask, can we hear you? We cannot hear you. Are you there? Hello? Okay, he'll come on in a second. Can you hear us? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear us. Nope. He's... We had the same issue last time as well. <clears throat> yeah, we definitely do. Um, it's It's been a little bit of a challenge today with, Whoa, <laughs> with but the internet. It's all good. And it's, it's all good. good. We just include it all in, guys. We include it all in. Um, one of the things that was really interesting for me is when we first delivered in Africa, um, I wasn't used to people dropping on and off, off and on, on and off, off and, you know, and so it, it just had to get included in. Otherwise, it gets very distracting. And, um, but you know what? Now it's like, no big deal. They'll be back. <laughs> so that's how I look at it. Oh, they'll be back. <laughs> I might be talking to them right in the middle of something. Oh, they'll be back. <laughs> and then we just right. pick up when they come back. Um, Ujin, can you hear us now? <clears throat> nope. He's still not being able to hear us. Okay. Um, all right. So guys, it is uh, 12, 13. Um, I wanted Mike and Teresa to share what's going on in their business, what, what they're up to so that everyone knows. Mike, are you there? Um, yeah, I'm here. There you are. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to be updated. What, how is, how are you, how's your business going? What's, what's happening with it? Um, you tell everyone what it is because there are many on here that may not know. So tell them what it is and then what you're up to. Okay, right. So um, I, I sell, um, I'm, I'm mostly um, a buying and selling businessman. So I sell perfumes, um, I perfume oils that I source from Dubai um, and sell on the local market here in Accra and other parts of Ghana. Um, I'm also um, a small um, food business owner. Um, I, I Raksha would be very familiar with this, so um, Christy and um, Teresa. Uh, yeah, so um, the good news is finally, Raksha, fi <laughs> finally, right? Um, um, I'm coming back on the second week of March, like fully. Um, and because I'm the one who does the cooking, right? And I have a full-time job now. 
class selling the perfumes, I needed to squeeze in some time to do the food. So yeah, that would be happening over the weekend, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, that's, that's when it. we'll be doing the cake. Yeah. So I, I have, I have one person coming on board to help me. And um, once I'm convinced that this person can, you know, take over, and then um, I can hand over to that person, and then we would start um, providing the catering services from Monday to Sunday. But as of now, it will be um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. And, so and one, uh, one suggestion, Michael. Yeah. Your recipes, if you're going to have this person take it over, write your recipes down and have a non-disclosure <laughs> with this person so that uh, they don't take your recipes and make their own. I did that. I, 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 would, I would absolutely do that. Um, I, would, I would do that. I'll have a last conversation with you before the day. <laughs> and um, another yes, thing I'm also... <laughs> Call me. Well, one other thing I'm also engaged in is um, there's this um, ongoing program in the high school, at the high school level, um, drama, drama competition at the high school level, and I am a judge on the program. And mm -hmm. so I, I have a lot on my plate <laughs> at the moment. I'm so stretched thing. I have so many things going on. You're and very so flexible. You can do it. You can <laughs> yeah. do it, Mike. You can. If anybody can, you can. Yeah, thank Listen, you. Busy people get things done. Exactly. Yes. So um, I'm 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 a little bit under. I have problems with my eyes, and so um, I couldn't go to the office today. I'm struggling a bit with um, too much light. Um, my eyes are very sensitive to light. And so I had to stay in today. That's how come when I was outside, I was struggling. Um, and so I had to come back in. But otherwise, my, my perfume business is also doing quite well. Um, the last time I stopped, I stopped quite. I mean, uh, it, was, it was my biggest um, stock um, so far. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm doing quite well. Um, and I'm fine. And um, I'm, I'm, I haven't seen Teresa in a while. So, um, Theresa, if you can hear me, please come to Accra. We miss you. Uh, and I miss bullying you too. So, um, yeah, that is it. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So, yes. So, he makes perfumes, guys. Um, your own essence. <laughs> and, um, and, and he's a cook. And oh God, he's an MC. <laughs> he can MC yeah. your events. Okay. We've seen it. We know he can MC your events. I am reaching out to Anita because I want to do another, I want to do another fashion show during our course. So we have way more people being able to participate, being a part of it. So um, yeah, guys, we did our first our first runway <laughs> virtual runway last year and it was so amazing his sister is such designer nazani she is amazing amazing uh jackie i will make sure that i send you anyone that doesn't have it i will make sure i send you the uh youtube because we recorded every everything of it and you'll see michael as the mc of the whole thing and and Anita's designs are, I they're just beyond your imagination. They're amazing. Amazing. And Teresa was a model. <laughs> amazing. And Michael was a model, and Teresa was a model, and oh, uh, Anita was. A, I mean, she just did an amazing job. So we're. I want to do another one, and with a bunch more students that can be a part of it. Um, so sometime midway through our course uh, that starts in May, we're going to set that up. We're going to create it, get it set up and get everything ready. And we're going to do another one because I believe her designs need to be seen. So I want to support that. So I will be reaching out to Anita and designer Nazani, and we will get something set up on the calendar. All right. Um, okay, last person. Let's see, it's 1219. There was one more. Teresa, I just want to hear how are things going? You said that you got your um your FDA license, the licensing to be able to ship to the US. 
how is that going for you? Are you there? Are you there, Teresa? No. Okay. She might not be there. All right. Well, we'll have Teresa come and share with us next week. But guys, any of your projects, anything that you are up to and, and wanting people to know about, this is where we share it. We also share what, what showed up for you in doing YEA so that when you invite guests here, they get to hear what all kinds of things you took on, what kinds of projects, what kinds of results are getting produced in your life. And they get to hear about the seven pillars and what they do in your life as you continue to use them. So I want to thank you for today. It's always an amazing call. I'm so, so excited. And I know Christy is going to be pulling up here very shortly. I get to see Coach Christy. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in a very long time. So it's time. Um, yep. How, how much longer, Christy? <laughs> I'm 40 minutes away, but I need your address. Oh, okay. I'll text it to you right now. Okay. Yeah, awesome. In WhatsApp. I'm begging yeah. for it. Okay, no problem. All right. Anyway, guys, thank yeah, you. I'm on Palo Beach right now, so, you know. What? That far away. Okay. All right. I'll send you. I'll send I'll you. Send the info. I'll send Get you. The info. I can't wait to see you. A hug. You know what? You're cutting yeah, out. One of your projects uh, early in YEA was a hugging, yes. program, a hugging project. Yes. And I can't wait to get one of those Carol Witt <laughs> hugs. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can get it in here. I can't, I don't know if you can see it. No, yes, you can't see it. Uh, yeah, it's called Four Hugs a Day for Survival, Eight Hugs a Day for Maintenance, and 12 Hugs for Thriving. Free hugs, let's thrive. Anyway, that was a project that I created. And guys, do you know how many people? I hugged 25, I gave out 2,500 hugs in that, in that project that was three months long. So cool. I need mean, that. I so love it. And, and then I'm ready for this, right after I did 2,500 hugs with people for three months of hugging at different events and things. COVID hit and you couldn't touch anybody. <laughs> so I starved for two years. <laughs> oh my God. It was, Mary. that was pretty wild. I got, I, everyone goes, well, you got your quota. Oh, what are we looking at? Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was my finger <laughs> doing a mistake. <laughs> Somebody shared. <laughs> oh, look, Terrell is coming in. Hold on. Let me just see. Uh, I don't want to hang up until she comes in and we find out what she's doing. Terrell! Hey, Terrell. Are you there? This was one of our coaches in the Team Africa. Um, our last course. Terrell? I'm here. I'm moving around the place. Hold on one okay. second. Hey, you. Good to see you. Yeah, it's nice to be here. We're, we're about to hang up, though. <laughs> oh, no. I I only just saw the messages coming through. Okay. Well, yeah, we're we're about to <laughs> we're about to hang up here. Um, okay. We've been on. We've been on since 11. And um, but anyway, yeah, this call starts at 11 a.m. And yeah, say hi to everyone because I'm sure they would all love to say hi to you. Um, Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. I can, hi, I can absolutely hear you. Hello. Nice to see everybody. Terrell, um, we've got um, we've got some people that you don't know in here. Okay. Um, so we've got Jackie. And yes. Jackie is a landmark graduate from Kenya. Um, okay, nice. And Hilda, I told Hilda, I go, she did the uh, choice conversation with the forum leader, David, and I fell in love with her energy and her smile and uh, all of it in her mind. And I said, Hilda, go get me Jackie. And she did. <laughs> okay, very good. Now Jackie good. is a leader in YEA. Wow, congratulations, Jackie. You're going to enjoy it. 
Um, for every, anyone that doesn't know, Terrell and I have been like besties for a very long time, and I love and adore her. And her daughter is the 13 year old that opened the door to having a white yay youth program. Uh, yeah. I, I sing Lexi's presence everywhere, Terrell. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Carol. Thank Absolutely. you. She appreciates it too. Absolutely. She was a gem and it just opened my mind to seeing some something possible that wasn't before. So, so amazing. And, um, but anyway, Terrell was a coach. Terrell's been a coach in the North America program and a head coach in, in the North America program for years. Okay. Since 20, what, 19, I think you've been involved with yeah. Our program. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, Fair she was right. involved with it. It was before. It wasn't it was before, but it wasn't as it is. Right. It it was about real estate at one time. It's not any right. longer, but she was that long ago that she's been in this program. So she's been somebody that loves and adores this program and is an ambassador for YEA. Um, for the guys that said I'm an ambassador. Yeah, she shares it with everyone. And yeah, I um do. She's from the Bahamas, and so she's always inviting people from the Bahamas. All of her family's done the program. I mean, <laughs> it's just been incredible. Incredible. So Thank you, Carol. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's well, nice to see everyone. I'm so sorry that I missed it, but you know, this is like a transition time. Alex going to work and stuff, so I'm usually trying to get things squared away. For so, Terrell, so, share uh -huh. with them really quickly uh -huh. about your uh, your project. Share with them about your um, creative writing workshop because I want to do one during our okay. May. Let them know what this is about. So the creative writing workshop is a project that I created with my 13-year-old daughter. Um, we would write as a family on weekends. Like we have a thing, today is Friday, so we have family fun Fridays. And so we either play board games or we think of something to do whether it be out in the yard or inside the house, just an activity with family. And so um, my kids back years ago were struggling with um, public speaking. They wanted to, they were good at writing, but when they had to share their work, it was a challenge. And so I came up with this idea and Alexis helped me to really get it to be um available online during the pandemic for our family members and friends and co-workers and things like that. So it's just a writing project, come together as a group, 10 or more people. Um, we try to max out at 20 um, people and then you come together, you bring vocabulary words. We give you the instructions of how to go about doing it and then you write. And so each individual who participates writes a creative piece based on the vocabulary words that are chosen. There's a topic that's chosen. And then at everybody's writing about the same topic, but everyone's piece is so different and creative. And it's so just, a yeah, like, so you get a writing prompt, some words you write, and then you come together and you share and pretty much, you know, give each other positive feedback on the pieces that you create. So it's a beautiful space for creative, for creative people. And um, yes. yeah, so we love, we love offering it. So whenever you're ready. <laughs> yes. So, and we usually try to do one during every course we have yeah. one and uh -huh. we just have so much fun guys. So um, it's just so creative and so much fun and we get to know one another better and oh my goodness, it's amazing. So um, yeah. we will have a flyer that puts it out there that we are going to be able to um, do it during the May course at some point. Yeah. So I'm so happy that, and guys, I have participated in, how many, Terrell, have I participated in? Like now? three or four, three or four at, at that least, we've offered. I yeah. love yeah. them. I absolutely you love did, them. Like, you did the little family ones too. So like the yeah. ones that aren't for the, regular for right, the for clients yeah. yeah for YA yeah. um participants you've done like with my family so I know it was so yeah. oh, so great and got to know your family way better and so yeah yeah <laughs> um but anyway yeah so much fun so definitely be looking for that and we will announce it when we're planning to do it okay um coach uh, Christy you have your hand up 
Yeah, <clears throat> Terrell, can you talk about your um, trees planting project too? Sure. So my seven-year-old and I, well, he was seven at the time. He's nine years old now. We created a, a project that's called the 400,000 Trees Project. Um, after Hurricane Dorian, which heavily impacted the Bahamas, but specifically the island that I grew up on, Grand Bahama, and another island called Abaco, um, uh, we had a lot of sea surges with the, you know, this whole global warming and <clears throat> we're being si significantly impacted in the Caribbean by um, this transition in weather. Um, and so we lost a lot of fruit bearing, food bearing trees on my island and in Abaco. And so we have a lot of farmers who are trying to get together now at this stage to replenish a lot of the trees that were lost. And so my son and I, we came up with an idea to replenish the trees um, in for the Bahamas. So 400,000 trees represents the population of the Bahamas, pretty much. Um, that live in the Bahamas, not Bahamians around the world. And so wanting to plant one tree for every Bahamian, we set out to plant trees and partnered with an organization um, called the Trees That Feed Foundation. Um, it's a friend of mine, Mary, I met her after reading about her in, a, in the newspaper, I called her, bold request to get some trees from her. And she's provided us with over I think 5,000 trees now for the Bahamas. And um, I don't actually have to physically plant them. Her request of me is to find people who want to plant trees. So I've since, like even up until yesterday, Kenneth, I spoke to him, Christy, so you would know. I spoke to Kenneth and they are, she, she put him in contact. Kenneth is out of Kenya. So she put Kenya, um, Kenneth in contact with someone from Tanzania yesterday who she already has sent trees to. So he said to me today that they are hoping to partner so that he could teach them about um, food forests and mm -hmm. um, centropic, what is it? It's um, permaculture and centropic farming, agriculture. And so that uh, he can teach the ladies in her community about yes. what he's doing. Forestry. Yes, so he's going to be he's going to be teaching the contact. And he's so, in right now. Yeah, right. That's why. That's why. I spoke to Mary yesterday. I had him reach out to her again. I reached out to her. She reached out to her friend in Tanzania because we knew that he was there for the last month and will be there for like another few weeks. And so hopefully he'll get to meet up with her friend. And then they can work together. But the, her friend already said that she would like for him to teach. So hopefully we'll be able to see some progress with that. And he can get some trees because the lady already got trees from my friend. Wonderful. Really mm -hmm. wonderful. All and right. that just happened yesterday. He reached out to me. I reached out to Mary. But it's like being in action in the moment and not being unafraid to reach out. So inside our community. That's what I love about it. Correct. I love exactly. it. I so love it. Thank you, Thank you. No well, problem. Christian. Thank you for, for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. I actually wanted to find out, do you support um, the YEA um, participants with creating um, um, GoFundMe? Are they able to do GoFundMe um, from, from overseas? Africa, no. So that's okay. why I'm doing the GoFundMe's from Africa. Okay, because Kenneth would like to do one and I've never done one. So I would like support with that. So this is my request in this space to maybe okay. partner with you guys to I've get done one. Many. <laughs> okay. So yes. Yeah, I help Carol with hers. I help Raksha. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I'd be so honored to I've done uh, many, help so you and Kenneth as well. Christy and Carol have a PhD in those. <laughs> I do. Okay, good. Yeah. So I need to I need to take the class. <laughs> I need to take your course. <laughs> I'm not necessarily pursuing my PhD, but I would like to be able to be get, maybe get my bachelor's or some type right. of certificate. Yep. 
we, so we, I wouldn't so I wouldn't be as heavily reliant and I could actually support you guys and supporting others. So absolutely. if you guys could if you guys can teach me and show me how, then I can support you all with with like yeah. other participants who need it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah. We to. reach out, dear one, to Chris. Yeah, we'll set up a time next week to uh, okay. you know yeah. work on that. Sure. Yeah, maybe on Zoom. Also, he, I just, you know, Kenneth was updating me on how many trees. He said he thinks he's planted 569,000 out of his 2 million trees. He's wow. killing the right. game. He's really wow. doing well. Wow. Yeah. 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 Baby steps. And he was encouraging mm -hmm. me. He was like, just a little at a time, you know, just keep going. Yeah. I know. I planted, don't, don't give up. That's right. I planted 25 in my mom's name. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. But it's so much easier to 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 donate to Kenneth's cause than my tree project because my trees cost more because they're coming from a specific place to get to where the to the Bahamas. Right. So what um, Mary is trying to do is have people in different places be the nurseries for those locations. Oh wow. So right. So her goal is to have like Iram in YEA be a nursery for the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. Because that's what Sunny wants too. Sunny wants, you know, Nakabali to also be, you know, that kind of a nursery as well. Wow. So if and um, what what the concern was with Kenneth guys was where he is in Kenya, she has people who she's already donated to in Kenya. But where Kenneth actually lives is a bit far away for him to just run and go get the saplings. Oh, yeah. So gosh. what I was telling them is if we knew people in between the oh. cities, like if we knew four people who could sort of say, okay, I have the trees today. I, right. I'll get them to this place tomorrow. I'll get them here. And then mm -hmm. like sort of, sort of bunny hop to Kenneth. Okay. Then, you know, but it's just about expanding this work so that now you have several communities acting as nursery. If any one community experiences drought or flooding, we, they wouldn't have to start from scratch. They can then go to another, another community one. for it. Wow. That's the goal. That's nice. the goal. I love it. I so love it. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. the way our community comes together. I love yes. It. Yeah. I love it. All right. Well, guys, it is 1236 we're we're going to complete for the day but thank you terrell for being yeah. a bright light in our thank call you. today thank you thank, thank you, you. sorry welcome. i'm so late yeah, you're welcome I back will. anytime anytime thank you back. please come back i'll be back i oh. um, i'm hoping to be on the call on sunday sunday yes for the um, yeah, Guys, we just program please right we just please. yeah we have some some things going on we have some girl scouts and oh, different things it. Okay. Going on, don't have to come for the whole time but come come and join. I'll, i'm gonna come okay. i just don't know how long because i have to yeah. definitely be in more than one place at a time understood <laughs> all right i love you guys thank you so much for an, another amazing phone call um it, it was just amazing today thank you again i will talk to you guys soon have a thriving week we'll see you next week in Carol, bye. Can, can bye. you bye Carol, can you Bye -bye. and Terrell stay on for two minutes? Oh, okay. Michael. Okay. All right. Um, Terrell, um, Rockshaw wanted you to stay on with me for about two minutes. Just All two right. minutes. Bye, guys. That's, Bye, that's fine. That's Bye. fine. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, it's nice guys. seeing you all. Invite you people. All invite people next Friday. Invite. Bye. Take care. Bye, Hilda. <laughs> Bye, Norbert. Bye, Norbert. <laughs> Awesome, Christy's there too. I'm gonna to share here, my Christy. screen, and I know Carol, you and I have already worked Michael, on this. We got to. I got to let him in, but I got to let him know we ended it. Hold on. Ah. Yeah, he. I think he's late. He doesn't. I'm different. I think it's the time change. It's a time thing. problem. Mm hmm Mike, Michael. Hey, Michael. Who's coming? He's coming. Hey, Michael, are you there? Hello? Michael, can you hear us? Oh, he's connecting audio. Still connecting, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Michael, unmute.
I just prompted him. Terrell has a diplomat in making with Lexi. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. I do see that. It's amazing. Hey, Michael, yes. are you there? Yes, I am there, Mama. How are hey, we? Michael, well, we missed you because it's an hour earlier. We Our time changed, so sorry, you're, sorry, missing, sorry, you're missing us because we ended our call, but I saw you wanting to come in and I was like, oh my gosh, I just got to say hi. So Michael, yeah, next week, you got to come an hour earlier. Okay, to say, okay, okay, I never uh, failed to, to calculate the time right, right today. I got it, and I was pretty sure of it. Sorry. Hour earlier. I request you post, you post, you post on, 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 YouTube, on, on YouTube so that I can also follow. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And by the way, Michael, um, the the leadership training is an hour earlier than this call. And I want you in that. Okay. Okay. I want you in that. Yeah. Yes. So join us, but it's an hour earlier than this call. Okay. <laughs> this call is at, it's 5 p.m. This starts and it's an hour earlier. So it's 4 p.m. for you to be in the facilitator training okay the okay, leadership please. training so please join us next week okay yes okay. one hour oh yeah 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 one hour so it is supposed to be at six yeah it's at year. five it starts at five and the and the leadership call starts at four okay 4 p.m 4 p.m your time 5 p.m for this welcome call Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Please okay. I will follow that. Thank awesome. You, we will see you next week then, okay? Okay, please. All right. Bye, Michael. Bye. Bye. You want to stop recording? Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm going to move. Okay. Remove awesome. I'm going to share my screen. Let me stop recording. <laughs>